Hello from Halifax, this is Jo with JoeToTheWorld.com and today we're going to be making my crochet baby booties. Everything you'll need to make these booties will be included in this video, but if you would prefer to follow along written instructions, there's a link to the free pattern which is on my website. And right below this video, there's a link where you can purchase the nicely laid out, easy to read and follow, ad-free PDF of this pattern. To make these booties for a newborn baby, you'll want to use a D-hook and size 3 light yarn. To make them for a baby that is around 3 to 6 months, you'll want to use a D-hook as well, but use size 4 worsted weight yarn. And for babies 6 to 12 months, use an H-hook and size 4 worsted weight yarn for everything but the shoelace. And for the shoelace, you'll use a D-hook. All the instructions are the same for each size, it's just the yarn weight and hook sizes that are different. For all the sizes, you'll also want a measuring tape, scissors, stitch marker, and yarn needle. All of this information, as well as which yarn I've used and the exact amount of yards needed for each color, as well as the exact measurements for each size, can be found on my website or in the PDF. These baby booties are part of my adorable baby collection. Under this video, there are links for the matching mittens and hat, which you can make with the flower or without the flower for a boy, and it's still super cute. I hope you enjoy making these booties. If you do, I'd be so grateful if you'd give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's get started. Here's a list of crochet abbreviations that I'll be using throughout this video. For this video, I'm going to be making the 6 to 12 month size, so I'll be using an H hook and worsted weight yarn. For the main color, I'm using Craft Smart Value in Pink Rose, and for the soles and shoelaces, I'm using Impeccable by Loops and Thread. To start the baby booty soles, using the color you want for the soles, we're going to start by making a slip knot. So make a loop, pull your yarn through the loop, pull tight, place the loop on your hook and pull tight and we're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In our second chain from hook, which that's the first one, here's the second, we're going to half double crochet. So yarn over, insert our hook into the chain, pull through, we have three loops on our hook, and we're going to yarn over and pull our yarn through all three loops. Now we're going to take our stitch marker and place it in that first stitch. With our stitch marker in that first stitch, we're going to half double crochet again into that same stitch. And we are going to now half double crochet into the next five chains. So here's the first chain that we are going to half double crochet into. One, there's the second, two, three, four. Straighten this up so you can see it. And here's the fifth. In this last chain here, we are going to half double crochet six times. So there's our first made, and it's all into this one chain that we're doing the six. So that's two, three, four, five, six, and make sure to pull tight after you've completed all the six. And now we're going to work down the other side. And we're going to be creating five half double crochet in each of the next five chains. So the first chain is right next to what we just made. We're going to half double crochet into the next five. Two. Three, four, 
four, And the last chain here, we're gonna half double crochet two times into that last chain. And that concludes round one. Before moving on to round two, quickly count your stitches and ensure you have 20 stitches in round one. To begin round two, we are going to remove our stitch marker and single crochet into that stitch. With my stitch marker removed, I'm single crocheting into that stitch and placing my stitch marker onto that single crochet stitch we just made. Now we're going to single crochet into that same stitch. In the next stitch, we're going to single crochet two times into the same stitch. One, two. And we're going to single crochet into the next two stitches. Now half double crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, three. In the next six stitches, we are going to double crochet two times into each stitch. So yarn over, insert our hook, pull through, pull the yarn through two loops, pull the yarn through two loops. There's one double crochet stitch made. We're going to make another. And that's one of the stitches and we're going to do that five more times for a total of six two double crochets into the same stitch two three no oh, not three yet <laughs> there we go and now we're on four And this will be five. And for the last one, six. Now we're going to half double crochet into the next three stitches. Into the next two stitches, single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Just one single crochet into each stitch. One, two, and in the last two stitches, we're going to put two single crochet stitches into each stitch. So in the next stitch, two single crochet stitches. And another two single crochet stitches into the last stitch. And that concludes round two. Do a quick stitch count and make sure that you have 30 stitches in round two. To begin round three, we are going to remove our stitch marker and half double crochet into that stitch. And notice how we don't join, we just keep going in a continuous round. And now we're going to put the stitch marker back into that half double crochet stitch that we just made. And now we're going to half double crochet again into the next stitch. In the next three stitches, we're gonna half double crochet two times into each stitch over the next three stitches. So the next stitch, half double crochet two times. And the next stitch, the same thing, two half double crochets. And 
and in the third stitch as well, two half double crochets. Now we're going to half double crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Next, we're going to be doing the following two half double crochets one half double crochet, two half double crochet, one du half double crochet. And we're going to be doing that six times. So in the next stitch, two half double crochets. And in the following stitch, one half double crochet, two half double crochets, one half double crochet two half double crochets, one half double crochet, two, one, two, one. Let's see how many we've done here. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So one more to go. Two half double crochets in the next one. And one half double crochet. And then we're going to half double crochet in the next five stitches. So the next stitch, half double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five. And in the last three stitches for this round, we are going to um, half double crochet two times into each stitch. So in the next stitch, half double crochet, oh, there we go, one time, and then there's a second time. And again, do that in the next stitch. And in the final stitch. Oh, oh, no stitch marker. Get that out of the way. Okay. So that concludes round three. And before moving on, do a stitch count and make sure that you have 42 stitches completed. With our 42 stitches completed for round three, we're going to remove the stitch marker and slip stitch into that stitch. And that concludes the booty soles. So we're going to fasten off with this color. I'm just going to cut my yarn, leaving a tail to weave in the loose ends. And we are going to now attach our new color to this slip stitch. So I have my color now that I'd like for the main part of the booty, booties, 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 and I'm going to put it onto my hook and pull through the sole color. And I'm going to pull the sole color tight and get my main color all ready to go nice and tight, just like that. So now I've got my main color on my hook. Everything is nice and tight and I'm going to turn my work. So I'm going to now start working in this direction. See how we've been working all around this way? We've, we're now going to turn our work and start working in the opposite direction. So with our new color, our first stitch is going to be the stitch that we did to make that slip stitch. And we are going to work into the back loops only. And the back loops are the ones furthest away from us. So into the back loop only with my new color to the very first stitch, I'm going to single crochet into that back loop. And then in the next stitch, 
single crochet into the back loop only and single crochet into the back loop of every single stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you'll have 42 single crochet stitches made that are all into these back loops. So put me on pause and hit play again when you have 42 single crochet stitches completed in the back loops all the way around. With our 42 stitches now completed, our single crochet stitches all the way around, we're going to complete the round by joining with a slip stitch into the first stitch that we made, but we're going to slip stitch into both loops and from now on work into both loops. So insert our hook into both loops of that first stitch and do a slip stitch to join. And that concludes round four. I'm going to take a quick moment and weave in my three loose ends that I have at this point. And when you're weaving in your loose ends, I always find it's a good opportunity to close any gaps that may have been created while you started, especially while working in, along the chains. So I'm going to just take a quick moment. All my ends will be woven in in just a second. My ends are now woven in. You can see there's no more gaps, which is great. But before we continue, I want to do one more thing. I want to take a quick measurement of this sole length from the heel to the tip of the toe. Measure that and I'm going to put up the sizes, the recommended sizes for um, each of the three sizes and wanting to make sure that your your soul so far is working out to be what it's intended to be. And if it is way off, I do recommend starting again with a bigger or smaller hook size. Okay, let's begin round five. So we are going to start with a chain, so chain one. And in the next stitch, which is the stitch attached to that chain, we're gonna single crochet in that stitch and in the next 10 stitches, so 11 single crochet stitches in total. Well, there's the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11. Over the next two stitches, we are going to half double crochet the two stitches together. So let's do that now. We yarn over, insert our hook into the next stitch, pull our yarn through. We have three loops on our hook, then we yarn over again and insert our hook into the next stitch and pull our yarn through so that we have five loops on our hook and then we're going to yarn over and pull the yarn through all five loops. So here, yarn over and pull the yarn through all five and that completes a half double crochet two together stitch. In the next four stitches, we're going to half double crochet into each stitch. One, two, three, four, and then we're going to do that half double crochet two together in the next two stitches. I have three loops on my hook, yarn over again, insert our hook until we have five, now yarn over, pull our yarn through all five, that completes our half double crochet two together, and now in the next four stitches, half double crochet into each stitch, Two, three, four, and half double crochet the next two stitches together. And last time, four times half double crocheting in each of the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. 
and in the final or no, it's not the final but in the next two stitches we're gonna half double crochet two together Now in the next 11 stitches, there should be 11 stitches left in the round. We're gonna single crochet into each stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11. Just before we complete the round, do a quick count and make sure that your round has 38 stitches in total. Once it does, come back and to finish round five, we slip stitch into the first single crochet stitch that we made to join, and that completes round five. To begin round six, we chain one. And in the first stitch that's attached to the chain, we're going to single crochet in that stitch. And in the next nine stitches, so 10 single crochet stitches in total. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now we're gonna half double crochet into the next two stitches, just one in each stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch and half double crochet in the next stitch. And then we are going to half double crochet these two stitches together And once I can pull everything through, and then we're gonna do that again. So a half double crochet these the next two stitches together. And in the next stitch, half double crochet. In the next two stitches, half double crochet two together. In the next two stitches, half double crochet two together. And then half double crochet in the next stitch. And half double crochet the next two together. And half double crochet the next two together. and half double crochet in the next stitch. Then in the next stitch after that, we're also going to half double crochet. So there should be 10 stitches left in your round. And in each of those 10 stitches, we're gonna single crochet. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, before we complete the round, just do a quick count and make sure that in total you have thirty two stitches. Once you do, come back and we're going to slip stitch into that very first stitch that we made the first single crochet stitch to conclude round six. To begin row seven, we're gonna chain one and we're gonna single crochet in the next 11 stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11. In the next two stitches, we're going to half double crochet, just one in each stitch. And in the next two stitches, we're going to half double crochet two together. In the next two stitches, half double crochet, one in each stitch, one, two. And in the next two stitches, half double crochet together, two together. And then half double crochet in the next two stitches. And there should be 11 stitches left and we're gonna single crochet into each 11 stitches. Two, three, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And to complete the round, let's do a quick count and make sure that you have in total 30 stitches made in round seven. Once you've done your count and you have 30 stitches, we are going to slip stitch into the first single crochet stitch we made for the round. And let's begin round eight by chaining one and single crocheting, oh, just in the first stitch. Now in the second um, and third stitch, so next two, we're gonna single crochet these two stitches together. So insert our hook into the stitch, pull through, and then without doing anything else, just insert our hook into the following stitch, pull our yarn through. So we have three loops on our hook and we're gonna pull our yarn through all three loops. Now we're gonna single crochet in the next eight stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In the next stitch, we're going to half double crochet, just one. And in the next two stitches, we're going to half double crochet two together. And we're actually going to do that three times. So three half double crochet two togethers. Here we go. There's the first half double crochet two together. Let's do the second. And the third. Mm, here we go, come on through everyone. There we are. And in the next stitch, half double crochet. Then we're going to single crochet into the next eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're going to single crochet two together over the next two stitches. So we have our three loops on our hook, pull our yarn through all of them, and then single crochet into the last stitch. Now we're, oh, let's do a stitch count. Our stitch count for row eight should be, oh my booty, gotta fix it here. It should be a total of 25 stitches all the way around. Once we have, you know that you have 25 stitches, Complete row eight by slip stitching into the first single crochet stitch here. And let's begin row nine. Let's chain one and we're gonna single crochet into the next stitch. And then single crochet the next two stitches together. We're gonna single crochet in the next six stitches. Here we 
need some more yarn here. There's two, <laughs> three, four, five, six. Then we're going to half double crochet into the next stitch, just one. And we're going to half double crochet the next two stitches together. We're going to do that a total of three times. So make sure I'm in the right stitch here. Okay, um, I've lost my place. Let's do this again. Two half double crochet stitches together. Or I said two. Half double crochet, two together. So there's the first half double crochet, two together. In the next two, let's do the same. And this will be the second half double crochet, two together. It's a mouthful, I swear. <laughs> and in the next two stitches, a half double crochet, two together. And in the last, or not the last stitch, in the next stitch here, let's half double crochet. Just one, one half double crochet. And then we are going to single crochet in the next six stitches. I thought I'd just fix it here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six and then we're gonna um, single crochet the last two stitches together and before we join do a quick count and make sure in row nine there's 20 stitches once you know there's 20 stitches come back and we're gonna slip stitch into the first stitch to join and let's begin row 10 and row 10 is super easy we're just going to chain one and single crochet into each stitch around so put me on pause and come back when you have single crocheted into each stitch around so you should have 20 single crochet stitches all the way around I hope you're enjoying making these booties and they're looking cute so far. So to complete round 10, we're gonna slip stitch into the first single crochet stitch, slip stitch, pull through. And now we're gonna start the cuff. So to begin the cuff, we are going to chain six. Two, three, four, five, six. Now what we're gonna do is we're in the second chain from hook. So that's the first chain right there. This is the second. I'm gonna turn over the chain to the back and we're going to be single crocheting into the back ridge loops, which are these back little bumps along the back of the chain. So if you wanna know the anatomy of a chain, this. That's the top loop right there. That's the bottom loop. And on the back is the back ridge loops. And that's what we're going to single crochet into. So that's the first chain from the hook. That's the second. So in the second chain from hook on the back into the back ridge loops, we're in a single crochet. And into the back ridge loop of the next chain we are going to single crochet and we're going to do this all the way down creating five single crochet stitches in total into each of the back loop. I keep calling it back loop ridge, back ridge loops. All right, there we go. There's three, the fourth. So you can see that's the top, the bottom, and then there is the back. So single crochet into that and then I find that the fifth one is a little hard to find because it's so close to um, uh, the booty here so we're looking at the back and I can see the little bump there so I'm going to single crochet into that back loop bridge so to attach the cuff that we've started here to the booty we are going to slip stitch into the very first stitch so the stitch that's attached to the chains that we made, we're gonna slip stitch into that and slip stitch into the following stitch as well. 
this one right here. Now we're going to chain one and turn. So our booty toe was facing away from us. And when I say turn, this is what I mean. Our booty toe is now gonna be facing us. And I'm gonna tilt it forward so we can see. I've just taken my hook out for a second because I wanna show you what we're gonna be doing. So we're going to obviously skip the chain that we just made. And we're also going to skip the two slip stitches that we made. So we're gonna skip over all of those skip over the slip stitches and then we're going to single crochet into the back loop only of each of these stitches all the way up. So five in total, single crocheting into the back loops only of the five stitches. So skip over my chain and my two slip stitches and into the back loop of the first stitch, single crochet, into the second stitch, back loop only, single crochet, into the back loop only of the third, single crochet, fourth, single crochet, and fifth, single crochet. We are going to chain one and turn so you can see my booty is gonna go in a full circle as it's now going to be back with the toe facing away from me. And I'm gonna skip that chain one that we made and single crochet into the back loops only of the five stitches all the way down. So there's the back loop only, single crochet. <clears throat> Two. I'm gonna do this a total of five times. Three, four, five. So with our five single crochet stitches now made, we're going to attach the cuff to the booty with a slip stitch in the next stitch. So make sure at this time that it's not attached to anything, okay? You wanna do it in the brand new stitch, which is one, the one right here. We're gonna slip stitch into that one to attach the cuff and into the next one. So we have two slip stitches made. We're gonna chain one and turn and skip over the chain, skip over the two slip stitches made and then single crochet in the back loops all the way up, creating five single crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna chain one and turn, skip over that chain and single crochet into the back loops all the way down. So I hope you're getting the hang of this. This is what we do for the entire cuff. We're gonna repeat this process all the way around until there are two stitches left to, to slip stitch into. So put me on pause and do the same thing. So we've worked our way down into the next two stitches, making sure it's not the one that's attached. So brand new stitch, we're gonna slip stitch into it and slip stitch into the next one. Chain one and turn skip the chain, skip the two slip stitches, and work our way up. So continue this process of working our way up, working your way up, chaining one, turning. I'll do it one more time with you. Uh, right, okay, so we worked our way up. There's always gonna be five stitches up and down. Chain one, work our way down, always into the back loops. some yarn here excuse me <laughs> and okay so that was two we're gonna do three four and five okay so making sure that it's going into a brand new stitch and into the next stitch 
chain one and turn. Okay, so repeat that process, skipping over these stitches, the chain and the two slip stitches, working your way up, chain one, working your way down, and do this all the way around until you're gonna have these last two stitches. And once you have those last two st stitches, uh, hit play again and we'll do that together. So with your cuff almost completed, you should have only two stitches left to slip stitch into. So we're gonna do that now. We're gonna slip stitch into the next two stitches. Slip stitch into the last stitch. And now we're not gonna chain, but we're gonna match the two sides together. And we are going to slip stitch them together. And I'm gonna just take my hook out for a second and show you my pointer here. When we line up the two sides, we are going to slip stitch into the back loop of the side that's closest to us. And I'm gonna call it the front loop here because it's the, the loop closest to us of the, the, the side that is furthest from us. We're going to slip stitch into these loops and then the side that's closest to us into these loops here. So with our hook ready to go, I'm gonna first insert my hook into the back loop of the first stitch and then insert this my hook into the front loop from this side on this stitch. So now I have two loops on my hook plus my loop from my stitch and I'm going to slip stitch them together. And we're gonna do that all the way up. So insert a hook into the back loop of the side that's closest to us and the front loop from the side that's furthest from us. And now slip stitch all the way up. The stitch was a little big just because I was kind of stretching to show you, but we'll keep going. So insert our hook into these two loops and slip stitch and slip stitch the next one and oh, and the last two. So the back loop here and the front loop here and slip stitch and that's it so now we're going to fasten off our yarn we're going to cut our yarn here i've lost my scissors so i'll put you on pause so we're going to cut our yarn leaving a tail to weave in our ends and pull our yarn through the loop to fasten off and now we have an adorable baby booty. We're gonna weave in our loose ends and then let's make our shoelace. So for the shoelace, no matter what size you're making, you're gonna wanna use a D hook. You're gonna wanna use your color you used for your sole and you'll need a measuring tape. To start the shoelace, we're gonna make a slip knot. So make a loop, pull the yarn through the loop, pull tight, place the loop on your hook and pull tight. And we're gonna start chaining really, really tightly. And I'm gonna put up the sizes you're gonna to wanna to make depending on which size your booty is. So, and I'm gonna just quickly show you how tightly I make these chains really, really tight. And you're definitely gonna to wanna to measure your chain instead of just relying on a certain chain count because I find even myself, I make different size chains all the time. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you measure your finished chain and not rely just on, on the number of chains that I recommend. But as a ballpark for newborn size, you're gonna wanna um, make a chain that is 12 inches long and that's approximately 60 very tight chains for the three to six month size, you're gonna to wanna to make a chain that's 14 inches long, and that's approximately 65 chains. And then for the six month size, 
your chain should be approximately 16 inches long and that is 70 approximately 70 chains and i think i just said approximately with the 16 inches no you want it 16 inches which is approximately 70 chains but definitely make sure to measure versus just going with the chain numbers so keep going make your chain the right amount of size and then we'll insert the shoelace together so since I'm making a six to 12 month booty right now, my chain is 16 inches long. And to finish it, I just pull my yarn through my loop and pull tight. Now I'm gonna get my yarn needle and thread the yarn onto my yarn needle. So we're gonna be working our shoelace into the row of single crochet stitches, which is right before the cuff. And the first place we're going to insert our shoelace into is just slightly off from the center. So here's the center. It's slightly off to the um, left and we're going to insert our needle right here and skip over the next, um, or not skip over, we'll kind of skip over, but we're going to go around the first two single crochet stitches there. So insert our needle and pull it through, skipping over those two single crochet stitches so there's two stitches in between where our shoelace end is and now we're going to skip over the next two single crochet stitches and then weave behind those two single crochet stitches to come through and skip over the next two, so it'll be over those two, and then under the next two, pull through, and we're gonna go over the next two single crochet stitches, and under the next two, go over the next two, and under the next two, and then pull through. So you should have three single crochet stitches in the middle. You might need to do just a little bit of readjusting to make the shoelaces even on each side. And then cut the ends. I always just make sure that everything's nice and tight. Oh, let me move that so you can see what I'm doing. Just make sure that that's nice and tight on each side and then cut really close to where it started. And that's it. Now all you have to do is make another one and you'll have two matching booties. You just follow the exact same instructions that you did for the first. I really hope you enjoyed creating this pattern and that you enjoyed watching this video. I'd be so grateful if you'd give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to make the matching hat and mittens. And for more fun patterns like this, come check out my website at jototheworld.com or see more videos here on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much again and have a wonderful day.